Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Crowd. Design Crowd? Design Squad. Welcome to another Action Noob to Master series video. And in this video, I'm gonna cover how to create your asset library, your widget library. In other words, how you could take, let's say, you know, a set like that, which is like an interactive guideline I'm working on so I can share with you guys and make it, let's say, something you could just drag in into your new project, something you want to reuse across the different bits. And an example of that is all libraries in Axure where you have all these different bits predefined as well as, let's say, the new introduction sample UI libraries, which has, let's say, button groups. You can see how many different bits you could just do and just drag in and prototyping same functionality, right? So let me show you how it's done. It's very easy. Let's say in your Axure, you could just go to File and New Library, as you can see. So it's another window. All I can do here is I can already play with exactly like how Axure would be, but I can go widget by widget. As you can see, it created me a template and say, for example, this is gonna be buttons primary widget and I can just drag in that primary button like so. Just copied it in, it copied everything. And I'm gonna do that for all of the buttons really quick. I can even duplicate the things. I can create new things. I just created buttons, let's say, and inputs as well. So I can, let's say, just drag in, drag and drop. And you could just do go effortlessly and define bit by bit. And I'm going to do that for you as well with all these widgets I'm working on right now with, let's say, accordion stabs and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you want it first and foremost, because that's what I'm going to use and going to give it to my team to use. But once you are done with it, as you can see, you can go bit by bit, preview exactly how it would work, preview like a prototype at any point as well, and just save it. And it's gonna ask you to name it as a RPLib. That's a definition of a library. And I'm just gonna save it on, let's say, my desktop, and I'm gonna call it, let's say, demo library or something like that. Click save, and I can just close it down, that additional window. And imagine that I create, let's say, an empty page I could go immediately and in libraries, add library icon. And as you can see, it's going to be boom here, demo library, I just load it in. And immediately I can use all those components I defined in a kind of like a sys design system way in a very simplified guidelines and arrange it as I want to be. I can also just re edit it. As you can see, nothing here is fixed. So you can hack it, you can put any type of uh, behavior to it. And if I test it, you're going to see as well that the behavior remains with the mouse over effects, focus effects, you know, what happens to it, stuff like that. At a basic level, the functionality and behaviors and interaction patterns are kept. That's how you do libraries. It's as simple as that. Try to explore it. If you're an avid actual user, if you design in it, if you prototype in it, if your team uses it, if you love it, it's a functionality you can't overlook. If it's something new you found out, let's say the sliders, just change the color, change the behavior, maybe add text field, save that as a new library widget, import it back, and then you have something you can drag in with a very specific behavior you love to use and you think is effective for your users, your products, your services. As per usual, stay tuned. I'm going to try to define all of these bits which you've seen in my video so that you can drag and drop things. If you want it, again, leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for next video. Like, subscribe, and until next time.